Aviation is one of the fastest growing fields and that's why various airlines are adding new aircraft in their flight which also required new pilots to drive. And if you have clicked on this video then I'm sure what your dream is. But before getting an admission you must have proper research and some amount of capital. And that is the main problem of many students. So before starting the video I would love to thank Vajus Aviation for guiding me in this video. So hey guys Kashat to me welcome back to the new video and in this video I am going to tell you how to become a pilot in a 6 point which include basic criteria required for a CPL, total duration and the time required to become a pilot, how you can apply for the scholarship based colleges to complete your CPL and the fifth one is what is pilot cadet program. At the end of this video I will give you a bonus information. So let's start step by step. Before getting an admission for the CPL you must comply some criteria like your age should be 17 or above at the time of application and your qualification should be 10 plus 2 with the 50% in the physics and the math. If you don't have physics and the math in your 10 plus 2 then don't worry. You can go for a national institute of open schooling. From there you can pass these two papers. And talk about the medical fitness like no color blindness. Your vision should be 6 by 6 with or without spec. And before getting admission for the CPL I suggest you to go for a class 2 medical from the authorized doctor by the DGCA. And while doing your class 2 medical, do your all the checks as per the class 1 medical. It will be beneficial for you in the future. If you want to know what is class 1 and class 2 medical, I have dropped down a PDF in the description below. Apart from this, you must have a command on your English. For that, you can go for English proficiency test. So these all are the requirements you must tick before getting admission. Now come to the second point is how much time and the cost it will take to complete your CPL. So this course is divided into three stages. First one is a ground training which take around 80 hours to complete. Then simulator and the flight training which take around 200 hours. To complete this training it might be take around 18 months and can be extended. It totally depends upon the organization where you are training. And this whole training will cost you around 30 to 35 lakhs excluding your type rating which may cost around 15 to 20 lakhs or more depends upon in which airline you are doing your type rating if you sum up all this cost till become an airline pilot it will cost you around 60 lakhs or more which sounds very big sum and not every student can able to afford it and that's why in the next point i will going to tell you how you can apply for this scholarship so there are total three ways to get the scholarship for to complete your goal to become a pilot. The national scholarship run by the Ministry of Social Justice and the Empowerment. Second one is the scholarship run by the state government. And the third one scholarship program run by the private sector. Before start this point, I request you to go and do your own research. The purpose of adding this point is just to give you an idea about the scholarship available for the CPL which can help you to achieve your dreams. So the first scholarship run by the Ministry of Social Justice and this scholarship is eligible for the SC and the ST student. There are total 11 registered institute who provide this scholarship with only 74 seats. For more details, you can check the description of this video. So there are few state governments provide scholarship for the CPL training. Like recently, Kerala government allows regarding the scholarship scheme for the pilot training. But again, it's only available for the SC and the ST student. Last year also, Maharashtra government announced to train 25 students as a CPL in which 33 from the VJNT class and the 67 from the OBC class. Again, if you want more details, you will get the link in the description. And the next scholarship, scholarship program run by the private sector, like scholarship given by the Tata Trust and the Kai Women Scholarship Program. Move to the fourth point of this video is best institute in India. Now you know what is required qualification, cost and all about how to get scholarship. Now it's time to choose best institute for your training. And here are the few institute names where you can visit and choose according to your checklist. So as for the data, here are the few colleges name. Indira Gandhi Rashtriya Udan Academy. Second one is Vajus Aviation Academy located in Mumbai. Third one is a National Flying Training Institute. Fourth one is a Bihar Flying Institute. And the fifth one is a Madhya Pradesh Flying Club. Few more colleges are there in the list. You can check out in the description. Fifth point of this video is what is Pilot Cadet Program. It's basically one-stop solution provided by the airlines 
like Indigo and the SpiteJet. This airline provide pilot cadet program where you can complete your CPL plus type rating with the placement guarantee depends upon the market. But getting admission into this program is not easy. You have to complete certain criteria required by the airlines like medical as we discussed in the first segment of this video 60% mark in the 10 plus 2 and if you have scored more than 90% mark in your 10 plus 2 with physics chemistry math then you are eligible for a spider scholarship too and obvious if you are getting all the solutions at one stop you have to pay a bit extra fees to complete this course as i said at the end of this video i gonna tell you how to become a pilot without money so to complete your pilot dreams without money you have to clear national defense academy entrance exam which is also called enda and the eligibility criteria for this exam is candidate should have done his 10 plus 2 in a science stream with physics chemistry math and the english subject plus medical which we have already discussed in the first part of this video and after clearing this entrance you will get a pilot training in the national defense academy and then in indian air force as a specialized training for the period of three years and once you complete this training then you will be posted as a flying officer but after your posting and joining as a flying officer you cannot resign your job until and unless air force want to leave you so this is for it guys and i hope i am able to give you a sufficient information about how to become a pilot if you like this video please hit that like button and if you are new on the channel please hit that subscribe button and connect with us and if you think this video informative then please share it with your friends so they can also know all the processes regarding how to become a pilot what is the criteria required for to become a pilot फिर मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए अपना ख्याल रखिए बाय बाय